They are constructed with the utmost care by craftsmen who fully intend for their creations to be blasted to pieces. Placed on the battlefield to look like the real thing, inviting attack from enemy drones and missiles. That would mean they've worked, Petro tells us, and will happily produce more, as many as needed. The operation of this workshop, which remains fairly secretive, is handled by mining and metals conglomerate Metinvest. Having all these skills and experience, it's not hard to move from steel production to military decoys. Made to order for Ukraine's military, the requests often change from one month to the next, as ever more sophisticated and expensive equipment arrives from overseas, of which they make cheap copies. For instance, the real M777 howitzer costs about $2 million, but it costs about 1000 to make a decoy. This radar system, price tag $280 million, a fake replica, yours for 2000 These decoys are also far cheaper than the weapons used to destroy them. This is the unit's trophy collection, bits of drones. This from a Russian-made Lancet or an Iranian-made Shahid. All very real weapons that destroyed themselves, targeting very real-looking fakes. As in previous wars, decoys have been used extensively in Ukraine, such as inflatable ones like this. But the development of high-definition surveillance makes them far less effective than these handcrafted alternatives. The enemy has many sophisticated drones with better optics, and that capability means we're constantly having to develop. Before, we would produce artillery just from lengths of plastic, but now we use foam plastic to carve out intricate details. Ever finer skills required in the ever more demanding craft of deception. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Central Ukraine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.